Sahara versus tropical rainforest, which is more deadly? Just a quick one for you. Will you choose 20 days in the Sahara Desert over 20 days in the tropical rainforest? Or what are the chances of survival in either of these landmasses, considering all the threats and dangers they both pose to human life? The tropical rainforest and Sahara Desert are so far the most dangerous places on Earth to be trapped, stranded or lost in. Few people have actually struggled against all the odds to survive and made it out alive in the Sahara and the rainforest. Although they had an interesting and funny story to tell, the experiences weren't all that fun as they constantly had the fear of their life being snatched either by dehydration, desert storms or heavy thunderstorms, wild animals, snakes and venomous scorpions, what have you. The Sahara and rainforest might look beautiful and friendly and all that. Well, that is true if you're looking from your phone or TV. Being trapped in any of these landmasses is a whole different story. It is no doubt that the deserts are some of the most stunning landscapes in the world, often uninhabited, but then they possess a stark beauty. Deserts can be extremely hot like the Sahara Desert or extremely cold like the Antarctic or Arctic Desert, covering almost one third of the Earth's surface area. Other deserts include the Arabian deserts located in West Asia and known as the largest desert in Asia. The Arabian desert covers an area of 2,330,000 square kilometers. Gobi Desert located in northern western China and southern Mongolia. This East Asian desert covers an area of 1,295,000 square kilometers and is known as the largest dinosaur fossil reservoir in the world. The Kalahari Desert is another located in southern Africa. It is a large basin-like plain of the interior plateau of southern Africa which extends for 900,000 square kilometers. Now spread over a vast region of northern Africa, the Sahara Desert is the largest hot desert in the world, being almost as large as the entire US. It covers 13 countries and is famous for being extremely hot during the day and very cold at night. This African desert has an area of 9,200,000 square kilometers. That is mind-boggling. It should be noted that the Sahara is one of the harshest environments on Earth's biosphere. Being either lost or trapped in such a vast, harsh landscape of alternating high and low temperatures isn't a good experience as you have a high risk of dehydrating after being exposed to high summer temperatures of above 58 degrees Celsius by day and cold temperatures that drop to as low as minus 6 degrees Celsius by night. Well, surviving through the Sahara gets even more difficult as it is challenging or imposing to retrace your steps due to constant desert storms that cancel your tracks, making it even more difficult for a search team to even think of finding you. These storms happen in very close time intervals, with some being more intense than others. Desert storms come with fast-moving hot sun particles that will kill in a matter of minutes if no one is properly equipped or oriented on how to survive the storm. A human cannot live three to four days without drinking water. Well, that's common sense. But especially in a boiling environment like a desert, that is a killer recipe. Their immediate chances of survival depend on the ability to find an oasis where they can gather water within three days at most. In addition to all this, exposure to extreme heat can lead to heat stroke and dehydration, as well as cardiovascular, respiratory, and cerebrovascular diseases. All of these downsides and downturns to the Sahara make survival more or less a reality, but not totally impossible if you take all the necessary precautions like putting on fires, staying on high elevation, and stop searching for food in order to reduce the attrition. It is worth noting that the Sahara has just 10 inches of rain in a year and equally has some venomous deadly scorpions that will kill with a single sting. You might well be thinking now, the rainforest is a better choice after hearing about all the dangers the Sahara poses to life. But well, I am sorry to burst your bubbles, the rainforest is just as deadly and dangerous, some even think more deadly than the Sahara. Around 2 million square kilometers of Africa is covered by tropical rainforest. They are second only in extent to those in Amazonia, which cover around 6 million square kilometers. Rainforests are home to vast numbers of species. For example, the world's tropical rainforests are estimated to be home to at least 40,000 tree species with up to 6,000 in African forests and inhabiting all kinds of wild animals, insects and birds that won't hesitate to devour or take any human life. Before we go into talking about the Congo Basin in Africa, let's take a brief look at the Amazon rainforest. In perspective, the Amazon is a vast forest that spans eight rapidly developing countries such as Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, 
and Suriname French Guinea and overseas territory of France. The Amazon contains millions of species, most of them still underdescribed, and some of the world's most unusual wildlife. It is one of the Earth's largest refuge for jaguars, happy eagles, pink river dolphins, and home to thousands of birds and butterflies. A quick fact here. The 3,977 mile long Amazon River is the second longest river on Earth after the Nile. Now enough of the Amazon, let's come back to Africa. The African jungle might look beautiful. Yes, of course it is. It's a beautiful sight. But trust me, you really don't want to be lost in the Congo Basin alone. Unlike the Sahara that one can go for days before giving up the ghost, the Congo Basin is a whole different story as you can be eaten by a wild beast on the very first day or first minute of moving wrong in the jungle. The heavy rains and thunderstorms also poses a serious threat to human life. The storms in the rainforest are so heavy that they bring down giant trees. Imagine that storm falling on you. It definitely will not be funny. The mosaic of rivers, forests, savannas and swamps are packed with wildlife such as crocodiles, gorillas, elephants, buffaloes, leopards, lions, snakes and scorpions and other forms of wildlife that take this region as their natural habitat. The Congo Basin spans across six countries, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Republic of the Congo, Equatorial Guinea and Gabon. If you thought you've had enough, here's more. Wild animals and rainstorms aren't the only things to fear if you're trapped in the rainforest. Other dangers include mosquito bites, thorns and pines, poisonous fruits, dirty water and sinking sand. All of this could cause instant death or probably a slow death. Some people have succeeded to survive through such jungles in the past, but only at the verge of death. It is quite funny how in a mosaic full of life and beauty, everything wants to take your life from wild jungle beasts, insects and even the water you drink. It feels like everything is leading to your demise. Staying low or high isn't safe and this is very unlikely the case in the Sahara where one could be easily spotted and rescued by staying on high ground. Here, snakes, scorpions and poisonous insects can be found just anywhere in the rainforest. And the tricky thing is that you may never see them coming. If you find yourself lost in the rainforest, then hope is all you really have. It is suggested that you summon all your courage and stay alive because if you don't, your remains or even a trace of you might never ever be found. While fighting for your life, you might probably be rescued by a passing fisherman or hunter and that is if luck smiles at you. That's so far the only help you can get in the rainforest. Now that the dangers in the rainforest and Sahara have been clearly expanded and depicted, I bet it's rather hard to pick which is more deadly. From the harsh sun, venomous scorpions and sandstorms in the desert, to wild animals, poisonous serpents and heavy rainstorms in the rainforest, I can appropriately say these landmasses offer nothing but death, with only a slight chance of making it alive. There is a 10% chance of survival in both cases, that's if you play your cards right, but not really guaranteed. I will leave the choice for you to make on which is more deadly, but if I were to make a choice, I would rather be lost in the desert than in the rainforest. We've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and drop your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more content from us.